Justin Bieber needs our help. He's headed down a dark path, and it's all due to his new management. These people are sketchy, and they know how to take from vulnerable people. And it looks like Justin is their next victim. So let's get into it. I'm scared for Justin Bieber because the people that he's surrounding himself with are problematic. I don't know whether to be mad at Justin Bieber or worried for him as it appears that he recently got a new business manager, Lou Taylor, also known as the woman who spearheaded Britney Spears' conservatorship. So we're not talking about Hailey Bieber today. I mean, maybe a little bit because she does seem like she's exploiting him as well. But we're talking about his management and that's because you guys reached out to me. This person wrote, the conspiracy theory is that since Justin's always sad and depressed, people may try to put him in a conservatorship. Another person writes, I'm really concerned about Justin Bieber's recent behavior and appearance. He looked drained, sick, and possibly medicated. He recently signed with TriStar. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know who TriStar is because they are a management firm who's tried to come after me before and they have been credited with allegedly putting Britney Spears in her conservatorship. I say allegedly because I'm not trying to get in trouble. He just signed Magic Management with Lou Taylor and TriStar. They are the same people that put Britney Spears in a conservatorship. Justin Bieber for the last year has been suffering with mental health, his health, and also people are saying that he is back to his old ways, vices, addictions. So yeah, this is a pretty big deal. I mean, Justin Bieber is one of the most famous people in the world. So switching his business manager, that's like a, a big move. There's a lot of money there. As you can see, Bieber Time LLC has an address on Sunset Boulevard, the same address as TriStar. They actually have a huge building on Sunset right before you get to Beverly Hills. We have protested there a few times and every time I go by that building, I just feel such a weight on my shoulders. It's like the gray clouds come out. There's no more sunny California. And it seems like people online are starting to pick up on the concern. This person writes, I feel like he has a lot of people around him that are snakes. I feel bad for him. Another person writes, he's totally out of control of his career. This wouldn't be the fifth or sixth monster that he works with. We're going to take a deeper dive into the management situation. But if you take a look back at his relationship with TriStar and Lou Taylor, it is interesting. Interesting. This person writes, seems like something fishy is going on with him. I don't believe he is in control, as well as made the decision to be with TriStar. We all know how they operate. We do know how they operate. And personally, I feel like Lou Taylor allegedly has been able to influence Justin in some ways. Like, for example, making a statement saying that he goes to, like, a ch her church called Church Rome, Church Chrome. I honestly, I hate the name of it. It looks like Adrenochrome or something freaky like that, but Church Chrome. And he made a statement about this, which is very convenient because guess who's on the board of directors? Lou M. Taylor. And obviously, this is great press if, like, the most famous person in the world is saying they go to your church. He was in that cult-like church that had a grip over him with his pastor Carl before the pastor was disgraced and got kicked out. Justin literally was not forced, but heavily encouraged by the church to marry Haley Bieber because it was supposed to change his life. Now, Haley Bieber's father is heavily involved in the church. As a matter of fact, he tried to push Haley on Justin when she was 13 or 14. She kept them close. Again, don't forget, if you go to a church, you pay 10% tidings. 2% might not sound like a lot to you guys, but when you have Justin Bieber money, that is a lot. And it looks like recently he's been influenced to sell his music catalog for $200 million, which when I saw this, I was like, hold up, something is going on because you don't really sell your music catalog until you're kind of like towards the end of your career, like Michael Jackson, um, right before he died. I mean, his team was saying, you know, the estate would be worth more if he was dead because selling the catalog and making the residuals on those assets. So the fact that he sold his music catalog to me just seems kind of bizarre at this point in his career, but it's a, it's a lot of money. And of course the people close to him want to get their check from it. People on Twitter figured this out because his touring company has the same address as TriStar Media Group, Lou Taylor's company. But as we all know, Justin has been acting a bit erratic over the years. And there were actually rumors that his father was in contact with Britney's father to put Justin in a conservatorship of his own. And now he's worth a lot more due to selling his music catalog for over $200 million. 
Personally, I feel like he's been influenced to make this decision. And if you see how consistent she was on Britney Spears and trying to get into her life and, you know, trying to attempt to allegedly put her in this conservatorship, she seems very persistent. And I have a feeling that if she really wanted Justin to do this, it wouldn't take much for her to figure out how to whether you know putting him in a bad mindset putting him on drugs or whatever just to make him delusional so that they can go in and take what they feel is theirs and clearly it's not so was this his decision or was he coerced this is an email an attorney sent to lou taylor right before britney spears's conservatorship was enacted lou we are run into a problem with our judge selection the only judge who will be able to hear our case on friday is the one who will not give jamie the power to administer psychotropic drugs to britney the first time she is off the bench is wednesday this is the first safe day to be in court on this matter if we go earlier all of this work could be for virtually nothing as jamie will be able to get her diagnosed but not get her treated i don't know about y'all but i feel like this is pretty invasive for a business manager and how does she keep getting such high level clients anyway Everyone knows what she did to Britney. She was right there with Britney's father the night of Britney's 5150 and refuses to be deposed by Britney's lawyer, Matthew Rosengart. There is something sketchy going on here, guys. Comment below. These celebrity churches. I need to make another video about some of these churches. Yeah, comment below if you have any video ideas for me. But I want to talk a little bit about Hailey Bieber because I feel like she has a role in this as well. Because why is she seen all out and about living her best life, hanging out with the Kardashians who also work with Lou Taylor. And then Justin seems like he's really struggling. I mean, if you saw videos of him at Coachella, he clearly was not coherent. If you guys don't remember, during Coachella, Justin, the last few, I guess, uh, appearances, Justin has been out of it completely, okay? People are saying that Justin is on some of the type of zombie meds, right? that Britney Spears is also on. Now, Justin hasn't been seen that often, but when he is, it's always with Haley. And personally, I feel like it's Haley's fault. I mean, Justin does not like the paparazzi. He's made it very clear. We've seen videos of him confronting them and asking them to leave him alone. But then now we see screenshots of Haley messaging photographers paparazzis about which photos to publish and it's clear that she's working with these people to have the paparazzi called so that she can get her picture and you know continue her fame there's actually one bizarre clip i found online where justin bieber was seen and the paparazzi weren't taking any photos of him but then as soon as Haley appeared they took a bunch of photos which tells me that they aren't there for Justin, who's like literally the most famous pop star, but they're there because they've been called, they've been hired to go for Hailey Bieber. And I think it's kind of manipulative of her to continue to try to like call the paparazzi and continue her fame, especially when Justin clearly isn't doing well. And it's a really interesting video because they take absolutely no photos of Justin, but as soon as Hailey walks out, that's when the cameras start clicking. partner that is justin bieber in front of you there is no way absolutely not a singular chance a paparazzi is going to pass up the opportunity to sell photos of the justin bieber and this is what leads me and many others to believe that the paparazzi were called it's because they weren't called for justin Justin doesn't need paparazzi called on him, and he doesn't want paparazzi called on him. They were called for Haley. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but there's something going on. And I think at this point, we can all agree that personally, my opinion, allegedly, that Lou M. Taylor doesn't seem like a great manager. I mean, J-Lo recently dropped her. So what does J-Lo know about Lou M. Taylor that we all don't know that she wouldn't want her to be her business manager any longer. To close the loop on Justin Bieber, his dad recently posted some offensive things about the LGBT community. His dad, Jeremy, seems like such an, like an ass. Like, ugh. He just you know cashes in on justin and was kind of an absent father he posted on his instagram that us gay people should thank straight people for our existence which is such a stupid thing to say okay like yeah 
you know, straight people make gay people, but we don't need to thank them for our existence, especially when most straight people make us feel way less than. He also wrote, we need to celebrate families. You know the reason we're all here. The things this generation glorifies is unbelievable. Why is he so worried about this? Like, truly, I will never understand how, like... <laughs> celebrate families you know one day i'm gonna have a family with a husband and four children and it's gonna be beautiful and amazing and i will celebrate that family and i will glorify it too but of course people are coming for jeremy as they should this person writes don't forget to thank justin bieber this month for your paid bills another person writes yes thanks straight man who left your woman at the time of raising your child alone you are definitely the best person to say something about family respect and love period maybe i should make a video about jeremy and how he's a horrible father. Actually, I think I might. Justin Bieber exposing Justin Bieber's dad. Terrible person. Because he did receive some backlash, he posted a tweet to try to fix things, but it really just made things worse. Writing, acknowledging the nuclear family is offensive. My apologies to those offended. Was not my intent. Was not your intent. You can't let us have our little LGBT pride celebration. You have to go and talk about nuclear families and try to make, again, gay people seem like they're wrong or they don't belong. Yeah, no, I'm not having it. Your intentions were very clear. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I am worried for Justin Bieber, especially if that's his management. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him go through the ringer. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.